Hey troops, what's going on? Jen did Commando here and welcome to the channel guys. So today we're going to be reacting to countries with the most powerful weapons. Really, really look forward to this one. I hope you are too. If you are, please smash the like button, hit the subscribe button and hit the notifications along the way so you get notified each and every time we go live guys. And we've got a Discord link below if you want to join that and have a chat with me or recommend any content, please join the Discord troops. But other than that, I hope you enjoy this one. We're going to get straight into it. Peace. Hello everyone, today in this video we're going to show you some of the most powerful weapons and the countries having these weapons. Let's get into the detail. Number 7, Anti-Satellite Weapons. Anti-Satellite Weapons ASAP. Ooh. Anti-satellite weapons, okay, now we're going straight into all of the uh, the powerful weapons, guys, straight into it. Are space weapons designed to incapacitate or destroy satellites for strategic military purposes? Anti-satellite missiles can be deployed against enemy satellites, disrupting crucial intelligence during war. Mm. Although no ASAT system has yet been utilized in warfare, a few nations... Yeah, I was going to say, you don't hear much about it, but that's because it's never been utilized yet, really, so have shot down their own satellites to demonstrate their ASAT capabilities. Only the United States, Russia, China, and India have this technology at the moment. Okay, okay. So I didn't know Britain didn't have this technology. Um, but then again, we're quite close with America, aren't we? So um, I guess we don't really need it, perhaps. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Number six, nuclear-powered submarines. A nuclear submarine is a submarine powered by a nuclear reactor. The advantages of nuclear submarines over conventional or typically diesel electric is huge. Nuclear propulsion being completely independent of air frees the submarine from the need yeah. to surface frequently, <clears throat> as is necessary for conventional submarines. Yeah, so guys, the thing is with uh, nuclear submarines and stuff like that is that, you know, hopefully we never ever have to use them, okay? But it is a very, very strategical um, piece of kit that most countries do use. Uh, do have to, uh, to to be able to use in the event of a massive outbreak of war. But, um, yeah, once we start using nuclear weapons and stuff, it's pretty much end X anyway. It's game over anyway, really, if you think about it. So, yeah, do we even need them? I don't know. It's a bit stupid if we're not going to use them. And if we do use them, it's, end it, it, it's game over anyway. It doesn't make sense to me. But, um, hey, let me know what you think about that, guys. Greens. The large amount of power generated by a nuclear reactor allows nuclear submarines to operate at high speeds for long periods of time, which is not possible in diesel electric submarines. Mm. The tremendous power on tap allows a nuclear sub to travel above 30 knots continuously. Most diesel electric subs have a top speed of a little over 20 knots, and then only for a short time. Yeah, um, but we did see the capability of these in the uh, local shores and stuff. It was, I think, a Swedish submarine that sank a US aircraft carrier um, in war games, all right? And it was very, very capable in short um, kind of skirmish missions and stuff like that. But definitely for the long haul, the durability going across um, different seas and stuff like that, the uh, nuclear submarines have a massive advantage, but not all the time. Due to the high cost of nuclear technology, only United States, Russia, China, UK, India, and France have fielded nuclear submarines. Yeah, and it costs a lot of money. Number five, missile defense system. An anti-ballistic missile, or ABM, is a surface-to-air missile designed to counter ballistic missiles. Originally conceived as a defense against nuclear-armed intercontinental ballistic missiles, or ICBMs, its application has broadened to include shorter-ranged, non-nuclear tactical and theater missiles. Okay. At present, the United States, Russia, China, India, Israel, France, UK, and Taiwan have all developed their own missile defense systems. Number four, multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles. Or <laughs> that looks like something out of Halo or something, doesn't it? <laughs> MERV. A multiple independent targetable re-entry vehicle, or MERV, is a missile payload containing several warheads, each capable of firing at different targets. Wow. In this, a single missile carries several warheads and can be aimed at multiple targets. Wow, that is this cool. This reduces the effectiveness of an anti-ballistic missile system. I didn't even know something like that existed in that 
respect, guys. So I've learned something today. That relies on intercepting individual warheads. MIRV also provides greater target damage for a given thermonuclear weapon payload. Several smaller and lower yield warheads cause much more target damage area than a single warhead. Yeah, alone. true. Currently, only China, France, Russia, the United Kingdom, and the United States. Right, didn't know the UK had one of these. Obviously, I didn't didn't know about these anyway, but it's interesting to see that UK has still got um, one of these as well. Are currently confirmed to possess functional MIRV missile systems. India, Israel, and Pakistan are known or suspected to be developing or possessing MIRVs. Okay. Number three, stealth fighter jets. A stealth fighter jet is a fighter jet designed to avoid detection using a variety of technologies that reduce reflection of radar, infrared, visible light, radio frequency spectrum, and mm -hmm. audio. Collect Which is e incredibly difficult to do, especially on a, a weapon system, um, a piece of kit as big, as loud as one of these, all right? It's, um, mm -hmm. it's amazing how they even get the technology onto these things to be able to work as well as they do, but... Stealth fighter jets, man, probably is one of the most Gucci jobs in the business. We'd all love to be a stealth fighter pilot, right? I know I would. Probably known as stealth technology. Although no aircraft is totally invisible to radar, mm. stealth aircraft make it more difficult to detect or track the aircraft Look at that, man. by enemy radars. As of now, these are the most advanced aircraft. Currently, the United States... I mean, who doesn't want to uh, fly one of these things? That's one. That's got to be one of the greatest jobs on the planet, right? Tell me if I'm wrong, guys. Let me know in the chat. Russia and China have all developed its own stealth fighter jets. Japan, India, and Turkey are also currently developing its own stealth fighter jets. Number two, Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles, ICBM. An Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, or ICBM, is a guided ballistic missile with a minimum range of 5,500 kilometers. Wow. Primarily designed for nuclear weapons delivery. Currently, China, United States, Russia, India, Israel, North Korea, UK, and France are the only countries that have operational yeah, yeah. ICBMs. Number one, aircraft carriers. Aircraft carriers are mainly a means of projecting power. Well, you cannot be a global power unless you have aircraft carriers. That's true. The advantage of having aircraft carriers is mammoth. They can provide effective air defense and offense capabilities for an entire battle group. Yeah. They serve as a seagoing airbase equipped with a full-length flight deck and facilities for carrying, arming, deploying, and recovering aircraft. Mm -hmm. While the cost for making an aircraft carries ranges from $2.5 billion to $13 billion. That's, in, that's an insane amount of money. All right. No wonder the UK doesn't have as many of these as they used to. Modern supercarriers like Gerald R. Ford class of the United States. And that's a huge bit of kit. Look at that monstrosity. It is huge, man. Cost around 13 billion US wow. dollars. Currently, only the United States, Russia, China, India, UK, and France have aircraft carriers. Yeah. While few other Which is a strategical advantage, guys. So, there we have it. Countries with the most powerful weapons. Quite a generic video, that. I did like it. It was... Um... It was quite interesting to know what the UK has and hasn't got. For myself, being a former Royal Marines commando, we're not really, um, or at least I wasn't, not too exposed to um, some of the powerful weapons that we have in our arsenal because I was an amphibious soldier at the end of the day. The the kit that I got to use was um, all the small arms stuff, yeah. So yeah, your weapon systems, the SE-80, a GBMG, um, grenades, frag grenades, all that kind of stuff, all right? But the big boy stuff was left um, to other people, guys. So if you did manage to make it this far in the video and you liked it, please drop it a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications along the way. Join the Discord if you want to chat with me or anyone else on the community. And if you want to recommend videos, that's the place to send them. And most days we go live on Twitch. That link is in the description as well, guys. And if you've managed to donate anything today, Thank you, guys. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't donated and you want to help us out on the channel, help us to grow, we do have a PayPal link as well, troops. So with all that being said, thanks very much. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take it easy. Bye.